family and friends, welcome to the 296th commencement exercises of Bowling Green State University. Let the ceremony begin! Our tradition is to begin and end each ceremony with Sounds of the Centennial, an original musical composition written by BGSU alumnus Ryan Nolan. This piece was commissioned to celebrate the centennial of Bowling Green State University. Please rise and join us in honoring the December 2019 graduates.
Ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with the significance of this occasion, we ask that you observe a few simple courtesies. First, please do not obstruct the aisles to take photographs or congratulate the graduates. A professional photographer will be taking pictures of the graduates. Second, please follow the directions of the commencement marshals and ushers. And third, please do not leave until the alma mater has been sung at the conclusion of the ceremony. The audience is asked to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and new graduates recess. Once the graduates have recessed, you may join them for the reception at locations throughout the Stroh Center. Finally, in honor of our candidates, please silence your cell phones. Thank you. Please join us in welcoming the faculty of Bowling Green State University. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President's party, members of the Board of Trustees, Provost and Senior Vice President, Deans of the Colleges, members of the President's Cabinet, our commencement speaker, and the 12th President of Bowling Green State University, Dr. Rodney Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the Bowling Green State University Persian Rifles present the colors. Please remain standing for the national anthem under the leadership of Rachel Thornsberry, a Bachelor of Musical Arts candidate. Gentlemen, please remove your hats.
twilight's last clearing, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Akiko Kawano Jones, and I have the honor of serving as the University Marshal for today's ceremony. I wish to thank Mr. Thornberry and the Bowling Green State University Persian Rifles. Please be seated. Graduates, parents, families, spouses, partners, and friends, I have the honor on behalf of the faculty to welcome you to Bowling Green State University's 296th commencement ceremony. This occasion offers an opportunity to come together as a community of learners to both celebrate and reflect upon our graduates' many academic accomplishments. For each graduate and for all of us, this is a significant day. It is now my great pleasure to present the president of Bowling Green State University, Dr. Rodney Rogers. Thank you, Professor Jones. Good morning, students, families, and friends of Bowling Green State University. This weekend, we celebrate a very momentous occasion in the lives of 1,047 graduates. It is my privilege to begin today's address by recognizing those who provide the leadership at Bowling Green State University. So first, let me introduce the platform party. As I announce the names, please stand and remain standing, and I ask you to hold your applause until the end. Members of our Board of Trustees, Daniel Keller, Chair. Marilyn Isley. Leah Fishman, Graduate Student Trustee. Lori Stevenson, today's commencement speaker. Joe Whitehead, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thomas Gibson, Vice President for Student Affairs and Vice Provost. Raymond Craig, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dawn Chenu, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Simon Morgan Russell, Dean of the Honors College. And Jen Stucker, Chair of Faculty Senate. Let's give these individuals a round of applause. <clears throat> 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 <clears throat>
So great universities are comprised of great faculty and mentors. They are at the heart of our academic mission. Their teaching skills, research, expertise, involvement in our students' education are the hallmark of the Bowling Green experience. And we are proud of their contributions to create and support our learning community. And we greatly appreciate their active engagement in our students' valuable learning experiences, mentoring them as professionals and advising them in their academic and career pursuits. So I ask that our faculty members that are with us today to please stand. Graduates, please join me in welcoming and recognizing our faculty. So as we begin the ceremony, uh, I'd like to share a few statistics and facts about the December 2019 graduating class. So I'm pleased to report that our graduates and their classmates spent a great deal of time studying and doing research at the library. During the last four years, 5.1 million books or ebooks were checked out or renewed. And our librarians tell us that they conducted 2,862,321,000 research appointments. And there were more than 144,000 visits to the Learning Commons. Throughout your four years here, our faculty taught 67,948 courses. And according to our chief information officer, you consumed 325,986 thousands of terabytes of data on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Do you think that was Netflix or maybe <laughs> Canvas? Uh, but now studying takes fuel. And BGSU Dining tells us that our graduates ate a lot. <clears throat> Over the last four years, the Oaks Dining Center alone served more than 1.9 million meals, and our, cons our students consumed nearly 280,000 pizzas. And since it opened, Steak and Shake sold 306 and 34,000 hamburgers. Now, I might add that more than 2.3 million hours have been spent at the rec center. Maybe there's a correlation there. So we're celebrating the accomplishments of a great group of graduates this weekend. As a public university for the public good, we embrace our responsibility to serve the public. We do this by preparing our students to live meaningful and productive lives. And you have created public good by recognizing how important it is to pay it forward. Those involved in student life and in our signature co-curricular activities, they, commit, uh, they were involved in over 334,804 community service hours throughout these past four years. And in this year alone, our students have raised more than a half a million dollars for nonprofit organizations. Very impressive indeed. The value of the Bowling Green degree that you are about to receive has never been higher. We continue to be ranked as a tier one national university by US News and World Report, and just this year, the Wall Street Journal ranked BGSU number three of all of America's public universities for teaching quality, and we are number one for student satisfaction in the Midwest. At Bowling Green, we believe that our students have the opportunity to belong, to stand out, and to go far. And that is more than just words, it is our promise. And this graduating class embodies that promise. In total, there are 1,047 candidates for degrees this weekend. 16% of our graduates are students of color. 58% are women. There are 52 international students representing 18 countries. 
We have an 18-year-old receiving an undergraduate degree. We have a 58-year-old receiving a bachelor's degree and a 60-year-old receiving a master's degree. As you can see, our graduates include both the young and the young at heart. You are ethnically diverse. You come from small towns, suburbs, big cities. You are from different parts of Ohio, the United States, and from all over the world. Some of you have completed your degree online, and I know that this may be your first time on campus and you're meeting your colleagues and classmates in person for the first time. However, all of you have one thing in common. You have found a university where you can belong. You found your place at Bowling Green, in the classroom or in the laboratories, in residence halls, in clubs, in student organizations, in Greek life, or on the athletic field. You made Bowling Green your community and your home. Our students have studied at Bowling Green during a very exciting time. We have witnessed two national club championships in women's bowling and men's rugby. Our women's soccer program won back-to-back -back MAC tournament titles this year. BGSU football upset Toledo in a 20-7 victory this year, returning, returning the Battle of I-75 trophy to its proper home. And for the first time in 29 years, BGSU hockey completed, competed in the NCAA tournament. The madhouse on Mercer is roaring loud these days. And finally, our Falcon forensic speech and debate team won a national championship. That you're sitting here today illustrates that you have thrived at Bowling Green. You have found purpose, you followed you, your passion, and you have stood out. You have embraced the unique BG learning experience, developing leadership skills throughout your journey. As a Falcon, you have learned to think beyond the discoveries made by others. You have empowered your imagination to, to shape your future, to pursue new levels of excellence. In, in short, you have the knowledge and tools to change the world. Now, in recognition of your accomplishments, I will now ask a number of students to stand and be recognized. Many of you have grown through experiential learning and co-curricular involvement. These types of experience have prepared you to stand out. And so, if you have studied abroad, participated in a learning community, completed an internship or co-op, got involved in service learning, conducted undergraduate research, participated in a student organization, an academic honorary or advisory board, athletics, residence education, student government, teaching and research assistantships, any of those, would you please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. <clears throat> Finally, I would like to recognize the heroic services of our United States veterans and active members of the armed forces who are graduating today. Would you please stand and be recognized? Earning your degree today places you in a very, very select group of people. Less than 7% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree or higher. You have earned it. But with your degree comes an immense responsibility. 
You see, not only have you invested in your education, not only has your family and, and others invested in your education, but by attending a public university, the citizens and residents of the state of Ohio and the nation have invested in you. Now, not one of us has gotten to where we are without the support of others. And for our graduates, a lot of people have helped you achieve your degree. As you graduate from Bowling Green State University, I hope you will never forget to take the time to pause, reflect, and thank those around you who have supported you. And so, in the spirit of our 1987 commencement speaker, Mr. Fred Rogers, I ask, like he did, to take 10 seconds of your time, 10 seconds of your time, to think about all the people who have helped you to become who you are, who supported you. They were in your corner. And so I'm going to ask for 10 seconds of silence for each of you to think about those individuals. I'll watch the time. Thank you. So before I invite our provost and senior vice president, Dr. Joe Whitehead, to the podium, my final comments to you is that I encourage you to make a difference. Make a difference in your community, in your family, in your alma mater, in your nation, in the world. Tackle messy challenges. Communicate, work with others, learn from diverse peers, empower others to unleash their creativity, and take calculated risks. But be kind, always be kind, and have fun. But never, ever stop learning. If you do these things, you will do well, but you will also do good. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, President Rogers. Public servant, environmental advocate, statewide leader. Today's commencement speaker is Laurie Stevenson, a 1988 environmental health graduate of Bowling Green State University and also holds a Master of Science in Public Health. Her career is defined by her commitment to public service. She currently serves as a director of Ohio Environmental Protection Agency, a cabinet level position in Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's administration. The Ohio EPA is a trusted leader and environmental steward with a goal to protect the environment and public health. Laurie began her career at the, APA, at the EPA as a field inspector shortly after graduating from BGSU. Prior to her cabinet appointment, she held the position of deputy director of business relations and has been with the agency for more than 30 years. Time and again, Director Stevenson's work and through her commitment to doing good, she has driven the vitality of our state. A public servant, an environmental advocate, a statewide leader, most importantly, a falcon. I am honored to present today's commencement speaker, Laurie Stevenson. Please join me in welcoming her back to her alma mater. Well, good morning, graduates. All right, you guys are graduating today, so when I say good morning, I want a really peppy good morning response back, right? So, good morning, graduates. Thank you, thank you. Well, congratulations to all of you in the audience today and your families. 
not only for your accomplishments at Bowling Green, but for all of the opportunities that are going to be presented to you moving forward. I'd also like to thank President Rogers, the Board of Trustees, and the Bowling Green faculty for the opportunity to be here today. Over 30 years ago, I was sitting where you are, and today I've been asked to stand in front of you and talk about public service. I'll tell you that I consider today to be one of the most important days of my entire professional career, and I could not be more excited and honored to be here. I graduated from Bowling Green in 1988, and I'm a proud Falcon. Um, this place is very special to me because I had a blast here, and I met people who I remain connected with today. But it's important, my academic opportunities and the internship opportunities I had here through Bowling Green really helped me shape uh, the path that I wanted to be on. And that's the path I'm still on today, the path of public service. My interest is in the field of environmental protection and public health, but the world of public service is very broad. And probably every one of you sitting in the audience today could lend your talents to public service, be it in education, in health care, public safety, social services, mental health and addiction recovery, and the list goes on. I hope that many of you will consider public service because, well, frankly, we need you in our world. Public service is equally challenged, though, and it's rewarding at the same time. A lot of work in the world of public service can go both unrecognized and unnoticed. Many of us in public service frequently get criticized for doing too much or not enough in favor of particular interests. A former Ohio EPA director who is still one of my mentors once told me that if most external parties have some level of dismay over your decision, it's probably a good sign that you've made the right decision. In my organization, our leadership team faces decisions every day to help strike a balance between growth and development in Ohio, but ensuring that it's done in ways that are protective and environmentally sustainable. This task is not always easy or simple, but what's important is that we are thoughtful in making right and fair decisions. These are the challenges that pressure test organizations, and they are necessary for us to continuously ask ourselves the questions about how we function, how well we're listening, and how well we are responding to increasingly complex issues. At the end of the day, though, what remains constant is that public service is a space where you can work each day to improve the quality of life for others. That goal is probably the single most important thing that energizes and motivates me every day. Regardless of whether you choose public service or another path to help others, for this choice, my generation, your peers, and the next generation, thank you. As far as we've advanced as a society and a nation, we're simultaneously solving problems and creating new, more complex problems to solve. And looking back at the journey of my parents and grandparents who emerged from the Great Depression, World War II, and the growth of an industrialized nation, I think the push-pull of advancement and challenges will always exist for all generations. In the environmental world, I reflect on what has happened within my lifetime and my career. Fifty years ago, the Cuyahoga River running through downtown Cleveland was on fire because of industrial pollution. In fact, the river caught fire 13 times between 1868 and 1969. Today, the river is emerging as a recreational destination for tourists and kayakers. And today, people who catch fish from the river can eat their catch, something that was unheard of years ago. The Cuyahoga River fires were the catalyst for the passage of the Federal Clean Water Act. Many of our environmental laws have only been in place since the 1970s. But as a result, today, we can turn on our faucets to drink clean water, we breathe clean air, 
and communities are better protected from the harmful effects of illegal dumping and discharge of chemicals. It's taken a lot of work from lawmakers, scientists, regulators, academics, advocates, and other stakeholders to successfully address these challenges. And these examples demonstrate that what may seem to be an insurmountable task ahead of you can be addressed within your lifetime and within your career. Today's environmental challenges aren't about addressing burning rivers in Ohio, but they are about addressing waterways that are plagued by harmful algae, threatened by invasive species, and choked by litter and plastics. They are about addressing legacy disposal sites, aging water and wastewater infrastructure, and maintaining air quality. They are about promoting practices and behaviors that result in generating less waste. So in my world, there is still so much important work to do. And your perspective, your skills, and your energy would be a welcome addition to the team. In speaking with my fellow state directors, they are equally as excited to bring you into their organizations as the next generation of leaders. We all feel a sense of urgency to act quickly to move the needle in addressing the most pressing issues in front of us. So as you enter the workforce, wherever it may be, be ready to engage, provide your feedback, contribute, roll up your sleeves, and make a difference. Know also, though, that you are entering a workforce that includes those passionate career veterans who have lived through or at least heard the stories of the Cuyahoga River fires. They are, like you, still interested in changing the world, and they want to share their journey and experience with you. I am one of those people who have enough time vested in state service to retire but remain committed to the mission of my agency. So be patient with us and listen because we've been in your shoes and we want to help you succeed. We're kind of like your parents. You might not think we know what we're talking about, but we do, at least most of the time, and we are truly here to help. So this is perhaps a not so subtle plea for all of you to consider entering public service. But if I have not effectively driven this point home, in closing, I will leave you with one very specific and personal example of why I feel compelled to serve. This past March, only three months after I was appointed to my current position, I was asked to speak to a large group of attorneys at the State Bar Association about my priorities. Having been on the job for only three months, I didn't have many details to share, but one area I knew I wanted to talk about was my organization and how we wanted to make a difference in providing people with clean drinking water. So many of you may not be aware that we have areas in the state where people today do not have access to running water, either because they have private wells where the water quality is poor or they are too far out to run public water lines too. I talked about the lack of drinking water infrastructure being a priority for my agency to help address. I wasn't sure how the speech went, but after that presentation, I got the following note from one of my own employees from my legal team who was in the audience. He wrote, Director Stevenson, I wanted to thank you for discussing some of Ohio's challenges today at the Bar Association. I grew up way out in the country, in Lawrence County, and it's a place I'll always have a soft spot for. My father was a small business owner, and we were lucky enough that our family didn't struggle from the same poverty issues that affected a large number of my peers. It was not uncommon for my neighbors and friends to suffer from the exact issues you touched on today, along with a plethora of other poverty-induced struggles. Your comments today brought back memories of working as a community 
to help those around us because we felt no one else would if we didn't do it ourselves. I can vividly remember helping neighbors and friends haul cisterns with water to their houses and bringing changes of clothes and sanitary products for kids on my bus who lived without running water. It was just the way it was in our part of the county. There are several families on my road that use cisterns or lack any running water today. I am encouraged when people in a position like yours express a sincere concern and desire to ad address issues like these and to help those marginal populations that I think are so often overlooked. Again, I just want to say thank you and I'm excited to keep working for the agency with you at the helm. I share this with you as just one real example of why public service is so important. And it's just one of hundreds of stories of people who count on so many of us in the public sector every day to help them and their families live life to their full potential. This is the call of public service. And if you choose to join us, it will not only change the lives of others, but I guarantee it will change your life as well. Thank you. Thank you. I am so honored to be part of your day today and to share a little bit of my journey with you wherever your professional career path takes you. I wish you all much success and happiness as you step into your future. Thank you. Thank you, Director Stevenson, for your remarks and sharing your wisdom. Our graduates are certainly fortunate to learn from a public servant of your caliber. You are a graduate of a public university creating public good. Thank you for returning to your alma mater. I now invite Provost Whitehead to present our students as candidates for degrees to be granted this morning. Provost Whitehead. Thank you, President Rogers. Before I call upon our deans to present our undergraduate candidates, I would like to recognize those students who have excelled in their academic endeavors and are graduating with academic distinction and honors. This is indeed a great achievement for those graduates and their families. Bowling Green State University congratulates you for your commitment and for your success. And so I recognize the following students. There are 190 students receiving degrees with Latin honors this commencement at Bowling Green. To graduate cum laude, a student must have a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5. Would those graduating with the distinction of cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. To graduate magna cum laude, a student must have a grade point average of 3.75. Would those graduating with the distinction of magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And finally, to graduate with the distinction of summa cum laude requires a 3.9 grade point average. Would those graduating with the distinction of summa cum laude Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Bowling Green is proud to recognize graduates who complete their entire collegiate academic experience with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Those students graduate with the distinction of President's Award and wear a special medallion in recognition of this honor. Would those graduating with the distinction of the President's Award 
Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. In addition, I am pleased to recognize the outstanding achievement of our students who have been honored through Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and who are in the Honors College. Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi are each one of the world's leading academic honor societies. Only about 10% of higher education institutions in the world have both Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi chapters and Bowling Green State University is one such institution. Students earning honors degrees today have completed designated coursework at an honors project, which includes independent research. These students must maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher in all their coursework. They are wearing the honors medallion, a symbol of their academic success. With our Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and Honors College candidates, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. And now, I'll call upon Dean Raymond Craig to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. Will the marshals please direct the candidates to the platform? President Rogers, member of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Angela L. Long, Jessica Renee Thacker, Lindsay Joan Jarina, Paige Ryan Yelton, Jacob Allen Williams. Thomas Aiden Loarca, Cody Lee Schatz, Haley Elizabeth Nixon, summa cum laude, Maxwell John Taylor, Donovan Wolfgang Mann, James Ronald Mangan, Alexander Jeffrey Matier, Michael Stephen Abels, Zena Alexis Bohawk, Lauren Nichelle Smith, Jason Michael Warren, Emma Marie Wirtz, Cheyenne Marie Culbertson, Abdulaziz Youssef Al Quaihis, Michaela Elisa De Gracias, Taylor Marie Warner. Alyssa Lenore Pipkin, magna cum laude. Heidi Alice Larson, summa cum laude. Elijah James Mattis. Caitlin Christine Olette. Danielle, Danielle Amanda Trivison. Tamia. Kaira Reddit, 
Chandler V. Holmes. Kyle Westman Taylor. Kyle's diploma is being presented by his mother, Kelly Taylor, a faculty member in the School of Media and Communications. Kinsey May McLaren Scher. Hannah Ruth Potantas, magna cum laude. Brittany Faye Guyton. Paris Monet Knox. Alicia Marie Shoemaker. Taye Mecca Foreman. Zarina U. Cornelius. Kyron Delon Smith. Devin Latrell Tally Isom. Zachary J. Resnick. Sarah Kathleen Hasek. Alexander Matthew Shaw, summa cum laude. Thomas Ryan Moger, summa cum laude. Michael Anthony Venson. Ashley Caitlin Chase. Madeline Paige Tyson. Colin Patrick Chakechoff. Claire Elizabeth Lynn. Derek Lee Jones. Kyle Milan Melaine Collins. Malzi McGraw Mays. Delaney Ann Bales, magna cum laude. Tabitha Jean Marque. Sarah Ann Damien. Haley Ann Jeffries. Ashanae Durham. Jada Howe Stewart. Royal Stephen Nikolai. Christina Lynn Lopez, magna cum laude. Allison Letha Coor. Siri Francis Peterson, magna cum laude. Mirav Marie Yosef, summa cum laude. Ali Neighbor, cum laude. Miranda Rose Meyer. Anna Maria Torres. Hannah Elizabeth Shapit. Selena Nicole Canigan. Talasia T. Reynolds. Samuel Beck Panter. Sam's diploma will be presented by his father, Dr. Kurt Panter, a faculty member in the geology department. Hunter Kirsten Bryant. Hunter has a double major in psychology and sociology. Dakota Rain Stites. Sierra Ariel Gamble. Maya Roberta Eisenberg, summa cum laude, University Honors. Samantha Marie Kunkler, cum laude. Melissa Lynn Russell, summa cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Nepper. Dana Marie Durda, summa cum laude. Nicholas Robert Eichel, Xavier D. Harrison, 
Jack C. Green. Olivia Marie Schulock. Sydney Garnett Rossiter, cum laude. Jacob Joseph Laird. Charles Lamar. Antonio Sotolongo. Kenneth Andrew Wharton. Michael Allen Goldsby. Jared Kenneth Schneider. Rebecca Paige Kissling. Alora Kian Allen. Brendan Todd Brickman. Nathaniel B. Miller. Judith Maxine Marie Winter. Paige Elizabeth Jean Pickett. Ron Christopher Williams, Jr. Andrew John Messino. Emily Margaret Dyer, cum laude. Jeffrey Tyler Fuget. Kevin Ellis Goff. Joshua David Saltzman. Joseph Olufemi Anatungi. Tristan Riley Upchurch. Fawn Marie Denbo. Alexander Stidham Hartke. Emily Jane Lowe. Jenna Marie Saverstrom. Megan E. Harnish, cum laude. Emily Nicole Bly, cum laude. Jenna Marie Moore, summa cum laude. Tallison Michaela Cedarwall, cum laude. Drew Michael Kopp, magna cum laude. Dylan D. McDonald. Dietrich H. Wiles. Nathan Perry Buswell. Elise Sky Johnson. Sarah Ann Jones, cum laude. Matthew Austin English, England, excuse me, cum laude. Kayla Nicole Tucker. Danielle Bree Crowder. Lindsay Eve Davis, summa cum laude. Madison Paige Brown. Devin Ashley Clark. Matthew Jordan Domer. Monisha Monet Motley. Jasmine Janae White. Peyton Alexandra Warnke. Alexis Devon Boyer. Mason Stephen Gerald. Kara D. Rising. Joan Marie Mikett. Victoria Arlene Tenike. Benjamin Allen White, summa cum laude. Hunter Dale Sluis. Matthew Gray Listener. Bumi Ben Nil Aish Kumar Patel, magna cum laude. Nayakaran Britton, cum laude. 
Michaela Alexandra Lochetto, summa cum laude. Carolyn Therese Heiser, summa cum laude. Derek M. Mast, magna cum laude. Jacob Mark McCaffrey, cum laude. Jamie Leanne Hawkins, cum laude. Grace Meredith Patterson. Gabrielle Joseph Scrobot, summa cum laude. Kara Alexis Biggs. Thomas John Matuzinicki. Michaela Sue Beard, cum laude. Yeah. Betsy Louise Young. Karen Marie Jacobson. Caitlin Marie Lewis, cum laude. Miriam Abdu Jalil Ala Liu, Liu, magna cum laude. Jonathan W. Keegan. Alexandra Adrian Green. Melissa Claudia Miller. Tiffany Wilkins. Farida Mohammed El Nalhau. Tyler, Tyler Lee Tauscher. Benjamin Michael Costanzo. Olivia Deal. Corey Danielle Burge. Mara Catherine Crone, uh, cum laude University Honors. Sierra Nicole Avalos. Jarrett Jaguar Alois Trendle, uh, cum laude. Caitlin May Bush, summa cum laude. Kyle Stephen Knapp. Amanda Rose Bloom. Catrice Marie Williams. Elizabeth Catherine Paul, magna cum laude, University Honors. Lariona Simone Green. Mitchell Lane Mattaker. Ethan Jake Willis. Madison Elise Hartman, magna cum laude. Catherine Patricia Longmore uh, Mickham. Miss uh, Mickham's diploma will be presented by her mother, Dr. Monica Longmore, a faculty member in the Department of Sociology. Emily Rose D. Geronimo. Megan Elizabeth Vogt, magna cum laude. Alexander James Herning, cum laude. Sydney Jacqueline Fenn. Maxwell Harrison McRae. Adam Franklin Kubicki. Corey M. Tibbetts. Nicholas Scott Adamowski. Caitlin Michelle Salzer, magna cum laude. Thomas Edward Martin, magna cum laude. Sean Alexander Boroff. Mohammed Nizar Ashur. Emily J. Myrish. And this concludes recognition of the bachelor degree candidates from the College of Arts and Science. Thank you, Dean Craig. I call upon Dean Don Chenu to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you, Provost Whitehead, President Rogers, and members of the Board of Trustees. On behalf of the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, 
I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Joshua Taylor Waddle. Cameron Victor Jones. Justin Patrick Reynolds. Bailey Renee Cripage. Lauren Elizabeth Cassidy. Morgan Ella Getz. Annika Marie Schempf, cum laude. Michaela Erleen Lowe. Nathan Robert Permar, cum laude. Samantha Ann Melillo. Zane Stewart Collier, cum laude. Dominic Primo Bendinelli. John Francis Mullen. Amber M Marie Boudry. Sean Anthony Ragland. Allison Noel Stawicki. Summa cum laude with university honors. Kristen Danielle Schilt, cum laude. Dominic James Salee. Peyton Meredith Michael. Kristen Nicole Bagley, cum laude. Jessica Charlotte Rollins. Bridget Ann Swartz, cum laude. Grace Ann Wimmer. Grace A. Hockel. Liza E. Platfoot, cum laude. Paige Samantha Vollmer. Brody Matthew Wolf. Summa cum laude. Mitch Stanley Loom. Joseph Ned Mann. Douglas Tyler Ritterbush, cum laude. Deontrene Latisha Nunn. Austin Alton Brown, cum laude. Jack Ronald Cook, magna cum laude. Jason Ronald Utz. Gautier Marat. Kirsten Rael Berry. Samuel Dane Ciansudi. Danny Dean Leatherman. Andrew Dean Klingler. Eric Michael Charlow. Trent Yeomans. Jamari Jermaine Bozeman. Caleb Scott Bright. David Austin Konowalski. Yeah. Kendra Claire Robinson. Zachary Joseph Galecki. Jacob Alexander Clark. 
Kinsey Nicole Zdunchek, cum laude. Marina Nicole Potter, cum laude. Emily Rose Alderman, cum laude. Joshua Michael LePere. Haley Mackenzie Gearing. Kayleen A. Kalb. Owen Thomas Sill. Michaela Denise Colwell. Summa Cum Laude. Mary Michelle Harrington. Jacob Alt Shandle. Rachel Mackenzie Grappy. Brenna Michelle Klebusnik. Madison L. Pape, cum laude. Nicholas William Pedicus. Benjamin Trey Young. Sydney Ann Smith. Destiny Rose Smith, cum laude. Julia Rose Simon, magna cum laude. Allison Page Grimmer, cum laude. Reese J. Ruggiero. Yesenia Edith Ramirez Cortez. Ashley Lee Selmeyer Kinsey. Jamie Lynn Wade, cum laude. Brittany Lee Loomis. Rachel Wetclow. Amber L. Packard. Michaela Sandford, cum laude. Kirsten Rachel Guthrie, summa cum laude. Mallory Elena Hug. Sophia Ann Dick. Allison June Beaupre. Mary Elizabeth Russell, cum laude. Brittany Adrian Ax, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Inman. Alexandra June Trevellis, cum laude. Caitlin V. Helrick. Madeline Lucia Bishop. Alexander Mark Stotts. Taylor Ann Preston. Sydney Eve Annie Sothry. Megan Elizabeth Long. Sarah May Kern, summa cum laude. Brittany Marie Hyde, cum laude. Charles James Henry. Kyle Matthew Roop. Kelly Elizabeth Talley, cum laude. Samantha Sue Misi. Shaniqua Monet Martin. Ariana Janice Mack. Allison L. Seiford. Michael Dwayne Bishop, Jr. Audrey Michelle King, cum laude. Taryn Ray Rebush. 
Sarah Briggs Edwards, cum laude. Alicia Lila Kokomore, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Michaela Helms, summa cum laude. Kathleen Mary Kirchner, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Odauda Burns. Savannah Justine McCory. Megan Renee Kaminsky. Allison Therese Freed. Maria Lenise Mims. Alexis Lorraine Shea Taylor. Cassandra Elizabeth Meyer. Nicole Marie Sundermeyer. Rachel Lynn Brandle, summa cum laude. Michelle Renee Danford. Alexis Marie Cole, cum laude. Nicholas M. Burke. Jacqueline Marie Dean, magna cum laude. Kaylee Engel. James Edward Colley III. Rory Francis Gallagher. Nicholas Christian Brockmeyer. Caitlin Darlene Ball. Jacob Tyler Nobis, magna cum laude. Karen Marie Iser, summa cum laude with university honors. Cheyenne Elizabeth E.G. E this concludes the recognition of the bachelor degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you, Dean Chenu. Will all the degree candidates please rise? <laughs> Chair Keller, it is my privilege to present these candidates to you. On behalf of their faculty, advisors, and deans, I hereby recommend that degrees be conferred upon them as indicated in the official program. On the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as chair of the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree as listed in the official program with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Baccalaureate degree graduates, this is the appropriate moment for the symbolic change of the tassel from the right to the left. Graduates, please be seated. President Rogers will now make final remarks. President Rogers. Thank you. So as is Chair Keller, 
We are proud alumni of Bowling Green State University. And to our newest alumni, let me be the first to welcome you to one of the most valuable perks, a supportive network of more than 186,000 alumni around the globe. Many of you have donated to the Forever Falcons program, and we thank you for your support. But I hope that each of you have had the type of experience that will cause you to tell about your BGSU story. Welcome to the Alumni Association of Bowling Green State University. So earlier, I had asked you to think about the people who made a difference in your life. And I'm, I am sure that many of them are here today, and it is my pl pleasure to honor them. And so would I ask the parents, the spouses, the partners, children, grandparents, family members, friends, or anyone else who has assisted these graduates, would you please stand and be recognized? So, as we close our 296th commencement ceremony, please remember that Bowling Green will always be one of your homes and that you will forever be welcome here. And I ask you to stay engaged, both with your classmates and with the university that you have enriched a university that is better because you chose to be here. On these ceremonies, I'm reminded of a quote from Bowling Green's fourth president, Dr. Ralph McDonald. It is inscribed on the stonework of the Bowen Thompson Student Union, and it reads, we are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. We are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. You see, your success is our success, and our success is your success. We are forever linked to this institution. And as I look out to this newest group of alumni, I see the next generation of thought leaders, of risk takers, of public servants, of visionaries, and big dreamers and leaders. You will work to solve some of the most challenging problems that our society faces, and you will create public good. As graduates of Bowling Green State University, that is who we are, that is who you are, that is what we do. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish next. I, Ziggy Zumba. We now, complete, we now conclude our ceremony with a long-standing Bowling Green tradition, the singing of our university's alma mater. It'll be led by Miss Thornsbury. The words to the alma mater may be found on the back page of your program, or they'll appear on the screen behind the uh, platform. Please stand.
audience members, please be seated for the recessional and remain seated while the platform participants, faculty, and the graduates recess. Immediately following the recessional, we ask that you join us on the upper on concourse and first floor lobby for refreshments. Thank you and congratulations to all. Thank you.